How's it going guys? This is Fiery Fox Gun here and welcome back to a crazy cooking vlog. Now, today we are going to be doing a little bit of a twist on uh, two different uh, recipes that I actually have. And I've tried, well, I've tried out the one and it's really, really good and we're going to be using it to uh, to kind of supplement some uh, of the rest of the ingredients for the other one. So, let's, uh, what we're actually going to be making is a uh, chicken, smothered chicken uh, potato casserole, but we don't have any potatoes and we don't have, uh, well, and I don't have some of the ingredients for that. So what we're gonna be doing is actually making a smothered chicken uh, noodle casserole, which will actually be a little bit, which I do believe it will be a little bit better. Let's put it that way. So uh, without further ado, cause it's still bloody hot out here, let's get cooking. Okay, so today um, our ingredients are milk. We've got our milk here. Still looks funny to probably the Americans having it in a bag. Anyways. Uh, flour, you just regular all-purpose flour. Um, bacon bits, these are actually bacon bits that we made ourselves. Uh, so basically we took a pound of, of bacon, um, boy, uh, cooked it on the stove. So we actually have the um, sauce here, or the, the drippings, or baking grease, whatever you want to call it, um, sitting there for the chicken for later. So you're going to need the chicken as well. That's four pieces, four large pieces of uh, chip, boneless chicken breast. Um, Four large pieces of bonus chicken breast cut up into cubes. So we're going to be doing this a little bit different than what uh, it's going to be. Just just a little bit different than what uh, what the other the other recipe is going to be. I will link the both the recipes in the description um, so that you guys can take a look and see if you like them because they're perfect recipes on their own. They just I don't have some of the stuff, so I'm going to be tweaking it. All right. Anyways, back to this. We also have our seasons. Uh, I've got a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper, some uh, parsley, just uh, to make the uh, the cheese sauce taste a little bit better. Uh, salt and pepper for the chicken. Um, butter for the sauce as well. We have our gigantic bowl of cheese. That's about grams. yeah, that's 900 grams of cheese with a little bit of extra because we found some in the fridge, so we're using it up. Um, we've got routine noodles for to uh, replace the potatoes and we've got our, our containers that we're going to be cooking in. We've got all the over there and you're going to need to save the baking grease. That's a big key thing because we're going to be cooking the chicken into the baking grease. I don't know if I said that or not. Not entirely sure. Can't remember. But... You can forget it. Use oil. Yes. It, yeah, if you don't want to use the baking grease then you can always use canola oil, uh, coconut oil, any kind of oil that you want or butter or whatever. So, just uh, do that and uh, yeah. We're gonna get uh, the, so what we're gonna be doing next is actually getting the uh, the potato, or sorry, the noodles all ready because they have to be pre-cooked at least three quarters of the way uh, pre-cooked. Um, and then we're also gonna be starting up cooking the chicken. And then I will show you how to make the, uh, the sauce and we will come back. All right, so be right back. All right, welcome back. We have our chicken already cooking in the uh, in the oven or in the pan of baking grease. We have our noodles sitting off to the side, just boiling, um, getting those ready. And I am going to be showing you how to make the sauce. So um, the original recipe actually just suggests that you use um, what is it, cream of cream of cheese, like creamy cheese soup. Um, I don't have any, and I don't feel like going out and buying any. So. What we're going to be doing is making a uh, nacho cheese dip and then just watering it down just a little bit. So, and trust me, I have tried that one. This one is actually really, really good. So, basically what you start with is two nice, generous helpings of uh, butter. There's two tablespoons, two generous tablespoons of butter. I'm going to set that in there for now just to melt it a little bit. Let that melt. In the butter, and I'm probably going to need another one of these because I need some uh, some flour. And what? And whatever you put in here for butter, you put the same amount in for uh, flour. For flour, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio for butter and flour. I'm just going to stir this up just a little bit. You're kind of deep frying this stuff just a tad. So that's not the big deal. Um, what we're actually going to be doing with this is doing is making it. Making a noodle casserole with chicken. 
with chicken in it. Oh, goodness. What happened there? I'm going to get a little bit of the, the bacon grease in there. But that's not a problem because we're going to be basically making bacon grease everything. This is going to have bacon flavor all the way through it. So hopefully you guys like bacon. And to be honest, we're Canadians. We love bacon. We love our bacon. There we go. Just like that. And we're going to take two heaping tablespoons of that. And we're going to put that right in there. Just in case we need more, I'm not going to use that same container. And we're just going to mix that up until it kind of turns into a bit of a paste. I may have to add just a little bit more. Um, but yours shouldn't turn this brown color. And if it does, it means you overcooked your, your, uh, <laughs> your butter. So just keep that in mind. It probably won't change the flavor. If it does, then I might have to redo this again, but it should be okay. So once you have that done, you want to reduce your heat so it's not as it's not as hot. And add your milk, which I totally forgot to add already. So we got our milk. That's our one cup in there. I need one cup. This one, I do believe. And you take one cup of milk. And don't worry about uh, having too much or just a little bit, or kind of like overflowing it a little bit. Not that big of a deal. Um, we're going to be uh, adding a little bit more extra, anyways. So you want to stir that up until it's nice and creamy and smooth. Just like that. Oh yeah, I must have gotten a little bit of bacon here somewhere. But, this is almost done. Chicken's almost done, this is good. Um, now, when you take it out of the bacon grease, if you don't, you can, what you really should be doing is actually using just a little less bacon grease than what I use, so you're not technically deep frying the, the chicken. Um, this actually should go down just a bit, so I'm going to cook them properly. And, uh, yeah, you should just use a, just a little bit of the bacon grease. Like, use as much as you need, right? But, um, cook the bacon, or cook the chicken in the bacon grease. Um, and then when you're done with that, uh, you need another plate or a bowl or something like that with, uh, with some paper towel in it to kind of soak up some more of that grease so it's not, like, overly heavy on your system. That would be, that's the best scenario. If you want the extra little bit of bacon or whatever, then that's fine as well. You can do that. Okay, so if you notice, our sauce is starting to get really, really thick. And that's a good thing. So what I ended up doing was actually was putting in the milk and then I reduced the heat. It actually says to let it boil first and then reduce the heat. Um, I find it works just as well the other way around too, especially if you're doing multi, multiple things at the same time. You can reduce the heat to medium heat and then simmer it until it gets nice and smooth. So it looks pretty much like oatmeal or yogurt for the most part. And then what you want to do with that is add in about one cup or more, or maybe just a little bit more, of your cheese. So we're going to take this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a handful of this stuff, that's about a cup, maybe a little bit more. I like it cheesy. Plus, I don't need all that cheese. So, we're going to end up with a little bit, a little bit of extra. And you just want to melt that into the, into the mixture that you have. Just let it melt until it all becomes the same consistency. And if you notice, it's getting really super thick now. But it's starting to look more like actual cheese sauce. We're going to stop doing that. Just move this off to the side so it doesn't cook anymore. And take that lid off before it explodes. There we go. And our chicken is done. It's nice and crisp on some corners and not too much on others. And we're just going to keep on stirring this 
until the cheese is melted. And then because of the fact that it's nice and thick, we're just going to add a little bit more salt, uh, a little bit more milk. Just kind of add about another half a cup-ish until it kind of smooths out just a little bit. Back into a nice sauce mixture. Mix that all together. And you know what, I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk. Only because of our purposes. Yep. Just because it didn't get as liquidy as I would like it to be. So we're going to just stir that up again until the milk is all completely in, in there. And there we go. We've got a nice, consistent, syrupy cream soup. There you go. Now at this point, what you want to do is add in your seasonings if you want them. Technically, you don't need to have them if you like, if you like your, your food a little bit bland, or just you like the, the taste of the cheese, that's not a big deal, but I don't. So what we're gonna do is add in probably about, uh, about a quarter to a teaspoon, or a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of uh, garlic, salt, and pepper. This is the little mixture that I made up myself. Um, but you can buy it at the stores and a little bit of parsley. Probably about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of that. Just to give it a little bit of flavor. So, we're gonna mix that in. Let that simmer for a little bit so that the flavors can get, can kind of seep through. And then, that should be ready to go as well. And then we'll just be waiting on everything else on the noodles mainly. I think the noodles are done. The noodles are almost done. You always have a hard time with that. I haven't also looked at them yet. They still need about another five more minutes. But soup is nice and soupy. That's exactly the consistency that you want it to be. Is a nice creamy soup. Creamy soup style flavor. For s consistency, should I say. Oh, wow. My hand smells like garlic. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh man, I am sweaty. Anyhow, uh, once you have your cream soup, just let it kind of simmer. I'm gonna turn this right down and just let it simmer for a little bit until the until the noodles are ready. And that's how we're gonna do that. Now, funniest part about this is. That was the hardest part of this entire thing. So, uh, when we when the noodles are actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of leave this here. Um, just keep simmering your your soup your sauce until you know maybe check it every now and again. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Now, like I said before, you can actually use it just the way that it was. Um, a little bit more. I just needed a little bit more milk to make it kind of like a uh, a dip. And that's actually what it's made for, is actually a dip. Um, it's supposed to be nacho dip, dip, so you're supposed to put cayenne pepper instead of the garlic, salt, and pepper. But, uh, this works perfectly the way that it is as well. And I think it tastes actually almost better. But, what we're going to be doing after the noodles are done... Actually, I'm just going to leave this, this here, let it simmer a little bit more, um, and we'll be back as soon as the noodles are ready. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. Um, we are actually putting this in the oven right afterwards, so uh, um, you want to preheat your oven to three, 350? 350. Preheat the oven to 350. So start that. I need to get the pans out. So we forgot to do that beforehand. And I was doing so well with that, too. And I've what I've actually done is just uh, taken out, taken the, the chicken out of the pan and put it onto the paper, the paper towel, so that it can kind of drain some of the grease before we start putting it into the actual uh, into the actual pan. So um, you're also going to need a I think it's a nine by thirteen pan uh, casserole pan. Yeah, it doesn't say. Anyways, 
Um, yeah, so it's about a 9 by 13 pan, um, just to do everything in. Um, we're going to be taking, once the noodles are ready, we're going to be taking everything out and putting it all in here. So, that's going to be your main thing, and you're also going to need a little bit of uh, tin foil. So, uh, just have those things ready for by the time that we get, we get back. So, alright. So, we've got the noodles all sorted out. Um, we've got everything out on the table. So, this is basically the way it's going to look when you're done. You've got your bacon bits, your chicken, your sauce, your noodles, and the little bit of extra cheese that we're going to be putting on at the end. The chicken, uh, the bacon, and the chicken, or er, the chicken, the bacon, and the cheese are actually supposed to be more or less garnishes for the red, for the actual for the potato salad or the potato casserole that we have. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing because thank you for letting me know and ruining what I was saying. Anyways. <laughs> The uh, what what we're actually going to be doing because we don't we're not um, noodles don't really do layers very well unless you're using uh, lasagna noodles which actually we probably should have done that would have been awesome anyways um, what we're going to be doing is just kind of like mixing it all together um, what I'm actually going to do right now and we'll we'll do this together is we're going to put the noodles in the pan until basically you fill up the whole bottom of the pan we're going to do that. Here. Oh, and by the way, um, the other thing that this that this sauce is actually really good for is homemade mac and cheese. So yeah, if you want to do that, um, all that you really need to do is use this sauce um, and then throw it in some noodles. And oh my God, does it taste amazing! But and actually, the funniest part about it is if you put it the bacon, if you use, if you make the bacon bits as well, you can do that. Throw it in there, and you can have bacon. You can have uh, you can you can have bacon mac and cheese, which is even better. Bacon is always better. Everything is better with bacon. Anyways, yes. perfect all the noodles. Yep. So that's yeah, that's pretty much everything that we needed. Uh, yeah. Well, we may as well just freaking finish these off. So, okay. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take all those noodles. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I said how many noodles I was using. I'm using approximately, approximately. Uh, two cups of noodles um, so that's a thing if you guys wanted to know I, I just basically took uh, took this pot filled it up about a quarter of the way with noodles and then filled it filled it up to about there with water just so that you always when, whenever you're cooking noodles you always need more water than noodles always do at least double the amount of water that, as noodles because the noodles soak it up everybody knows that anyways um, so once you have your noodles set, set down there, you want to take your sauce and just pour it over top. We're just going to take all of this sauce, pour it right in here. So basically we're making the mac and cheese that I was just talking about. So we just basically make the mac and cheese the way that we were, that I was saying before. You take the noodles, you put the sauce inside the noodles, you mix that around just a little bit so that all the noodles are covered just like that so we got that actually the, the other thing too is if you if you notice that you don't have enough if you don't have enough sauce or if you want a little bit more sauce than that I always add just a little if you if you only need a little bit more just add a little bit more uh, a little bit more milk stir it around it'll kind of thick it'll kind of uh, bolster the flavor or bolster, bolster the amount that you have and then what you want to do is you want to just take your bacon bits Spread all that all over the place. Spread that all over. Now you don't want to use all of them because what we're actually going to do is we're going to be doing this again at the end and uh, adding it to the top with a little bit of cheese. So use about half inside and about half out. So we're going to be using that much and then I'm going to add just a touch of cheese Probably about a cup of cheese on top of that. Just like so. That's actually already looking really damn good. But then you want to put your chicken on top of that. And now if you were gonna do this with the with the potatoes, that's basically the way you want to do it. Is you want to do it layer by layer by layer until it's all done and all sorted out, ready to go. And actually, I might just leave it the way that it is. I was actually gonna stir this all together and mix it all up like an actual casserole. Go ahead, but, yeah, 
when you're doing it with the with the with the uh, potatoes, what you want to do is you want to do like a layer of potatoes, then a layer of sauce, bacon, cheese, potatoes. So basically, it's like a lasagna. Um, this layered. way, yeah, it's a layered it's a layered uh, casserole, basically. This way, um, what my wife actually wants me to do is kind of mix it all together. I almost like the way that it looks right now. Then keep it the way it is. Just the way that it is. That's and right. then we can add a little bit more cheese. Oops, making a mess. I'm gonna add some more cheese to the top of that. Add some cheese to the top of that. Because I want I, I kinda want the, the chicken to be uh, to be seasoned. Oh, that's right. Well while we were off camera uh, when when I brought everything over here, I did season the chicken just a little bit with some salt and pepper. Not anything spectacular, that's why I didn't put it on, on camera. But yeah, hey, if you want to do that, you can do that. If you think that the bacon the bacon grease is good enough, just leave it inside. It's perfectly fine. So. It was about a quarter of a teaspoon each. Yeah, so once you have all your cheese on top, you can put the bacon on top of that and just finish off, as much, finish off whatever bacon you got. Just kind of spread that around, make it nice and even. Go. Just like that. Nice and easy, quick, simple. This is actually surprisingly enough not overly difficult either. Like I said, the hardest part of doing this was the sauce, and really, the sauce can be can be supplemented with uh, with cheese uh, with cheese soup with creamy cheese soup. So once you have it looking like this, you can either add a little bit more cheese onto the top. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is just take everything that's here, minus this noodle, and just scrape that right off the ta table. Don't worry, this was clean before we washed. We started cooking, and we're just going to spread that, sprinkle that on the top. And since our oven is cooked, or our oven is ready... Now Mark, you mentioned tin foil. Yeah. Sorry, the, ti the I, I have two different recipes stuck in my head. Um, the tin foil is for if you're doing the potatoes to to help uh, cook the potatoes. Uh, once you layer the potatoes, before you put on the cheese and the and the bacon bits and the chicken, you put it in the oven for 350 degrees and cook it, um, and basically cook it for uh, I think it's like 30 minutes, just to make sure that the, the potatoes are cooked. Um, the way that we're doing it here, we, you can put the bacon or the uh, the aluminum foil over top. Personally, I actually find that it makes the cheese more soggy and basically everything a little bit more soggy. The way that I want the, the way that uh, we're going to be doing this is uh, I just want to basically melt everything because everything else in here is already cooked, ready to go, 100%. I just want to basically melt the cheese. So we're going to be putting it in the oven just the way it is. Just like that, for about 20 minutes. Um, about 20 minutes. I think it's about 15 minutes. It's probably going to be about 15 minutes, but um, I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes and just keep an eye on it. All right. And once that's done, you're ready to, to serve. It's actually a pretty simple one this today. So uh, we will be back as soon as this is ready to show you the final results. All right. Bye. All right. Okay, so we're back. Everything is all sorted out. Um, we actually, it turned out really well. It looks amazing. So this is... <laughs> I had a drink and now I'm sweating again. It's horrible. So this is what it ends up looking like by the end, which is, that's perfect. Um, the way that uh, the way that it looked on the online was actually a little bit a little bit more like actual chicken, so I thought it was just chicken. Um, but this looks a little bit more like an actual casserole. You can see everything's all kind of melted together and everything like like that. Looks really really good. What? Let's uh, let's cut into this and see what it, what it looks like on the inside. Just gonna cut right through that. Oh yeah, yeah. And you were worried. You were worried that it wouldn't do this. It's an actual casserole. Casserole? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Look at that. All nice and cheesy. It's a mess. Yeah, yeah. It's so nice. I like this string cheese. Oh, that one turned out way better. 
Look at that. Oh, and the cheese melted right through all the noodles and everything like that and actually made it really, really nice. Um, I want the next piece. Forks. You want the next piece? Oh, yeah. Nice That's and cheesy. Nice. Delicious. Nice and full of. You don't want all the rest of your stuff? I'll have it. Yeah. And you can basically couple this with whatever, or you can just eat it by itself. It's pretty much good enough. It'll fill you up really well all the extra grease and the cheese and everything like that but I want to give this a try because this is like I said a whole, totally this is not actually what you're how you're supposed to make it but I figured it's gonna still taste really really good mm. Mm. Oh, huh. I'm actually kind of surprised. The um... oh no, no, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so yeah, that's actually that's really really good. Um, the only thing that I would suggest is maybe, like I said before, I think I I underestimated the amount of sauce that I needed. So maybe add just like a little bit more, like a one and a half um, of the uh, the actual recipe, but. Besides that, it tastes amazing. Um, yeah, see? <laughs> and the kids like it too. And he doesn't like cheese. So, have you tried it? It's hot. Yes, it just came out of the oven. Oh, yes, by the way, uh, we did let it sit for about five, ten minutes before we actually served it, just so that the cheese can like stop and can, can uh, harden up a little bit, so that everything kind of melts back together. So just keep that in mind when you're serving it. Just give it an extra five, ten minutes before you actually serve it. It won't reduce the, uh, the, the temperature of the actual meal, but it will actually kind of solidify everything and make it kind of stick together. But, yeah, our camera died when... Uh, while I was doing the intro of uh, the outro last uh, last night, this is actually a new day today. So um, uh, yeah. So thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this kind of stuff, and definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, so that you can keep up with everything that we're doing. Because uh, we're doing lots of uh, we we do a new new uh, recipe every single weekend. And uh, we are always doing something new. Plus, uh, leave me comments down below. Let me know what kind of stuff that you guys want to see and what kind of stuff that you guys... Uh, if, if you guys have any recipes that you want to try, you want us to try. Um, I will find the recipe and I'll put, it up on, uh, I'll put it up on the channel. But, until the next video, take it easy. So, half a cup of chocolate chips. That's good. Half a cup of chocolate chips inside. That's going to be my little, my little add-on to this. And I think this would be great.